I'm so happy about the fridge, the fridge, right? The clip? Okay. Now. I'm having a time of my life. Everything is going all right. Chasing it, yeah, I got the right vision, yeah I won't let you down, we about to paint the town Got the people all around, we been surfing on the crown, yeah We them cool kids with the roof down Yeah, we let loose, so let you up, break the rules now Yeah, we wild out, out the house with the tunes now On top of the clouds, looking around Yo, how we ever do And we're home! <laughs> Okay, you guys, so this is our apartment, and let's start the apartment tour. So, we live down this little soy, which is basically an alley, and the main road is right behind us. So, you're gonna see, sorry, <laughs> you're gonna see all the traffic going by. So, there's a doctor's office, a 7 Eleven right here. That's a 7 Eleven. Um, and then you watch their previous videos, the lady who sells the street food is right there. And then there's this little, um, what did I call it yesterday? Like a everything store. Literally has everything, but watch your stuff. Alright, so come on, let's show you the rest of our place. I'm holding a plunger because our sink got stock. The pipes here are really small, so. Apartment here. So, this is, oh, that's a nice moped. Is that a red one? Yeah, and it's an actual, like, moat with a scooter. Wow. And that's our mini motorcycle right there. Um, but, oh, let's show them the recycling part. So, what's really cool that we didn't find anywhere else is a place to recycle. So, organic, general, paper waste, metal, and plastic in cans and bottles. Really, really love that. So, if you stay here, there's free parking. So, you can park your moped wherever you want. One of the reasons why we decided to stay here was because of this cafe. The cafe is closed for right now, but it's cool because you can use it as like your own little office. So, I've come down here and I've worked. It's really chill, no one's in there. So, yeah, but when they do open back up, I hear and I've seen that their food looks absolutely amazing. So, but look how cute this hidden, hidden town cafe is. Such a cute cafe. Can't wait till it's open again. All right, let's head upstairs. Reception is right there. If you need it for anything. <laughs> All right, so we take up our shoes right here. Let's show you inside. Nice and cool in here. Okay, so let me put down the plunger and everything else. So, okay, first off, this is our kitchen, FYI. Brennan and I live very minimal, so we don't need a lot of space. We don't need a lot of room because we don't have a lot of stuff. So, um, this is our kitchen. Oh my gosh, show them what made it from Bangkok. If you guys remember, <laughs> on Instagram, I posted that I had no idea if we were going to be able to bring this from Bangkok because we are only traveling with two backpacks. So, and we took the bus and ferries. 
there was no plane, there was no checking baggage. So it made it. <laughs> and we ended up getting another rice cooker, which is actually the same rice cooker as the first place we lived in Chiang Mai. Oh my gosh. So uh, yeah, we definitely needed that. Everything we need is up here. All of our seasonings are here. Um, tea. Um, this actually has rice in it and that has oatmeal. Um, and then obviously our tea. Brandon drinks a very, very little coffee. So this this uh, coffee lasts him for a while. Um, but our C4, flax seeds, chia seeds are there. Everything, our travel metal straws and chopsticks. Um, this is how we keep our rubber bands together. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, everything we need is here. We have a kettle, a cooktop. This is, um, really good because we can always store it away if we need more room um, but the cooktop is there and our microwave is down here now down there used to be our fridge and our fridge did not even touch the top of the uh the counterpart so we're gonna show you what our fridge looks like now but this is a picture of what it looked like before so that'll be up there um and the microwave used to be up here so there's that, there's our kitchen, yes. And check out these doors. I love it. Oh. <laughs> I love the doors to this bathroom. Now, I know that we realistically probably could have gotten a place that's cheaper, but the one thing that we love about this apartment is the bathroom. So, um, if you come in, it's just one whole space, so. Here's our sink. There's Brandon and I. <laughs> um, and then this is our shower. And a lot of places that we saw, they didn't have this here. So basically the shower was literally like over the toilet, which is technically like a Thai style bathroom, but we like for it to be separate, you know. But that's, that's our bathroom. Today is actually a really, overcast day so it's not as bright in here yet and it's still very early so we'll show you pictures from when she was like really bright outside all right so now let's go to the main part of our apartment and it's all right here <laughs> literally everything is here we have our tv right here, all of our electronics that are usually plugged in, travel cords and stuff, everything here. <sighs> this thing saved our life. So if you guys love drinking water or want another alternative to bottled water and you're on Kotal, Green Fresh. I will put their information down below, but basically you just order water and they deliver it. And we get two of these big ones for 50 baht 50 that's not even a dollar for this and it helps the environment because you're not using plastic and then if you go to penn supermarket right across where we showed you guys the other day um you can just get one of these put it in here press the button the water comes out press it the water stops so that's like one of my favorite parts of the whole apartment uh this is our bed our lamps, this little lamp shade is a little crooked. Um, there we go. There's a nice light that turns on over our bed. It's a really beautiful ambiance, uh, which I love. This bed, Brandon can tell you, Brandon, behind the camera, how comfortable is this bed? Like, it's the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in my life. Yeah, and that's not even an exaggeration. Brandon has issues sleeping. And there are times where he'll just lay here and just melt in the bed. And so he's been getting really good sleep. So have I. So very, very comfortable. And that's really good because in Southeast Asia, the beds are horrible, usually. Um, okay, so, oh, let me tell you guys. So this is the seating area, our little couch. Um, I actually sit here and teach. I don't sit at this desk. We do have a desk right here though which is really good, have our incense burning there. Um, but yeah, that's good for working, but I actually sit here when I'm teaching. But check out this fridge. So you've seen what our fridge looked like before. 
And I told the owner, I said, we might need to move into a bigger unit because we need more space. We need a bigger fridge. Brendan and I like eating fresh. And so we just needed more space. And she said, no problem. And literally we went to have breakfast came or lunch and came back. And this fridge was in our room. It was so crazy. I, I like started crying. You don't believe me? Just look at the next few minutes of this video and I was so happy with this fridge like I was so I was so excited right <laughs> Brendan is like I've never seen someone so excited about a fridge that's because so as you can see I was really excited about the fridge um all right and then okay so traveling is not always perfect the places we live are not always perfect one downside to this apartment and it wouldn't bother everybody but because I have OCD and I'm very particular about cleanliness and keeping things in order this is probably my least favorite part of the whole apartment because there's no closet door um, these are just a few of our things that we have hung other than that um, all of our clothes and stuff sorry are in our packing cubes and I just kept them there because we like to keep our clothes rolled anyway. And as you can see, we don't have a lot. This is all me and Brandon's. Our boxing gloves at the bottom, but we start training in about two weeks. So they're going to end up going right back into his backpack and not out. Our yoga mats <laughs> made it with us, of course. Um, and then we have a space down there where we put like our bags or whatever. But this is the part that I really don't like because I can see everything here. Um, but it's as neat as it can get. All right, so now we're gonna show you our favorite part of this whole apartment. And after I show you, we're also gonna put clips of the sunsets we've had out here because the sunsets here have been absolutely breathtaking. Yesterday, right, it looked like the sky was on fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was so amazing. So. Freaking beautiful. It's amazing. We spend so much time out here. It's just, it's so quiet. And if you can see, um, Brandon pointed out to me, they're, uh, actually Brandon's dad pointed out to us. You have the coconut trees up there, the banana trees down here. And then if you look that way, there's the ocean. And then this way is the mountain. It's actually a little hazy today. And um, when we woke up, we realized that it was a lot more humid than normal. So, but we owed you guys an apartment tour. So instead of waiting for a better day, we're like, let's just do it. Um, but that's it. And they have been so great. We have an air con. We asked for a fan because we don't want to run the air con so much. And they brought us a fan literally within like 15 minutes. I have never ever dealt with people that are so nice and I know everyone's like yeah well you're in Thailand but Brandon and I have even said like we had a great landlord in Chiang Mai we actually had a really good one in Bangkok too but still everyone here is so attentive so nice um, if you need room service they will come clean your room change your linens uh, towels everything so anything you need just ask so this is probably one of my favorite places we've stayed. I feel like a whole different person. Brennan is getting a lot of um, relaxation and physically, which is what he needed from training so hard in Bangkok. And mentally for me, it's been so much uh, better. So that's our apartment, you guys. So I'm now going to take this plunger and try to unstop the sink in the kitchen. I know Brennan's gonna wanna do it, but I actually think it's kind of fun. So we'll see. But yeah, so that's it. That's our apartment tour. And if you can see back here too, I'm sure when it's... Oh, oh yeah, we have our drawing rack. <laughs> um, but when it's a lot more crowded, I'm sure there are people out here playing volleyball and stuff. So, But there's like almost no one here. Um, all right, so you might wonder how much do we pay right now 
COVID prices. A lot of things are cheaper on this island right now. Um, but we pay 10,000 baht and that's all included, which means we don't have to worry about electricity. We don't have to worry about water. It's all inclusive. 10,000 baht comes out to about $330 and we don't have to worry about any other bills. That's it. And then there's Wi-Fi. So, and then the cafe is right downstairs. Anything you need, they come and help. We technically could tell them about the sink, but I don't want to bother them. I just want to kind of do it myself. So, yeah, so that's it. And that is how we're living now. Is it better than Hawaii? That's up to uh, personal, I guess. Uh, it's a subjective answer. Um, but I have loved it here more than Hawaii, aside from like our friends and family being back in Hawaii. It's just so much cheaper and easier to live and we're able to actually enjoy ourselves and have fun because we're not worried about paying for rent. So does Hawaii compare? Hawaii is very special, but Koh Tao is a lot more livable and feasible if you're not trying to, you know, break the bank. Okay, so let's ask Superman of the house. What do you think of the apartment? I think it's awesome. Yeah, what do you mm -hmm. like about it the most? With the apartment or this hotel in general? Hotel in general. Uh, just the fact that it's small, you can everything's convenient. Everyone's real nice, and yeah, I mean, there's some cons to it, but not very much. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't complain. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that was our apartment tour here in Kotal at Fieldy House. And I am so sorry that it took so long, but we were really enjoying ourselves when we first got here. But we are getting it out before our official month here, so mm -hmm. that's good. Um, all right, well, we are excited and look forward to sharing more with you guys from this wonderful island. We will probably be here for the next five months or maybe longer because you just never know. Uh, all right, guys, we will catch you on the next one. So wait, like and subscribe. <laughs> Click the, what's that, the notification icon? The bell. The bell. Yep, do all of that. Yeah, share it with your friends. Mm -hmm. You want to know what Kotal is like 2020? This is it, Kotal 2020. All right, you guys, we will catch you later. Peace. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I got the right vision, yeah, I won't let you